Oh my god, hi. I actually haven't vlogged in so long. I think last time I vlogged was over a year ago. If I remember correctly, it was a vlog of me and Faith in London for the day. So I think I have vlogged in this flat, but literally like once or twice, which is a bit wild. I have so much to update you on. If you were watching my YouTube channel before, if not, welcome, hi. We're getting back on the vlogging train. It's really annoying me that my glasses are reflecting this much, but also I think I'll be too blind if I take them off. Also my eyes wonky, are you seeing this? Um, anyway, this is also really wonky, so let's not stay here long, but I am about to cook my dinner and I don't wanna do it. And normally I make Gemma stand in the kitchen with me while I make it when I'm in this kind of mood because body doubling. Um, that was meant to be a peace sign, but it kind of went a bit lazy. <laughs> Body doubling. Um, yeah, and Gemma's away for the weekend, so I have been left to my own devices, which has led to one thing, me talking to myself on camera, so that I don't just talk to myself. I'm a gusto girly now, so we are making this. It is sweet potato bake with broccoli and dal makani whatever that is i um, actually didn't pick this recipe i left it too late to choose my gusto recipes this week so this is just what they've given me um and i've been putting off because it takes 45 minutes and i don't want to spend 45 minutes on it but now it is 10 past nine and it's still going to take me 45 minutes i'm not gonna be happy with happy about it i'm gonna do a little should we do a time lapse I might get my phone out and do a time lapse of me cooking gusto I um, might leave the camera rolling as well because I always feel like whenever I cook gusto I'm like oh, if I'd have filmed that it would have made great content because it's fucking hilarious how much I mess it up. It's also quite a hefty ingredients list so I've got to find it all first and then to be fair none of the vegetarian recipes have that many steps. Let's preheat the oven. My cooking failed yesterday because I procrastinated put, uh, cooking this and re remembered that I had a frozen pizza in the freezer obviously um, was the fact that I just flicked on the oven and put it up to like 240 degrees didn't realise, burnt the pizza and that is my karma for not making this yesterday so here we are again today I still don't want to make it but we're doing it we are getting the things I don't know which, oh, do I need both of these lentils or do I just have two sets of lentils? No, I just have two sets of lentils. Are they the same? They're the same. Okay, that's gonna be both then, isn't it? Wow. My brain is not being a functioning brain right now. Let's go, let's see if I remember to how to YouTube. <laughs> let's make this a little weekend vlog since I have been, have since I have been left my own devices. I have work tomorrow and Sunday. I actually work all weekend now. We love the self-employed life. That's another update I'll tell you about later. Um, let's get cooking. I mean, I think the pan I've put it in, the pot, what's this called, dish? I don't know. <laughs> this thing, I think it's too big for the amount of sweet potato that I got given, but hey ho, we move. And then we've got the broccoli and now it just needs to go in the oven for like 20 minutes. It is currently this time, nearly 10 to 10. I'm hungry, but at least I've cooked and oh my God, I can't get this straight again. <laughs> There we go. Um, I don't know why it's also really fuzzy. Camera's not been used in a while. Um, I also keep making myself herbal slash fruit teas because we've run out of squash and I've been meaning to buy squash all week and there still is none. So I've been living on, wait, let me put the food in the oven then I'll chat. Literally been living on herbal teas also, <laughs> the state of me, because I had to wash up that pan. Um, this is the current fave, peach and orange um it's just the aldi one i finished my nice sainsbury's one and then the other fave which i'll have before bed 
it's just a little peppermint. I actually thought this was the Aldi one as well, but it's Tesco, hey ho. I'm getting through the collection of teas. I haven't tried the cherry one yet. This is Gemma's actual tea. I've got these red berry ones, which I'm not a massive fan of. I think I've had these for probably over a year and they're still just there because I don't really like them that much. Then we have these cherry ones. I literally haven't tried a single one. Like the box is not even open. Um, and then the lemon and ginger ones I've also been obsessed with. <laughs> That's our tea collection. I don't know why I just showed you that. But yeah, I'm gonna go and drink my tea. Also, this is my favorite mug. I can't adult today or any day. Um, yeah. That's the update. Okay, I'm gonna chat while I am waiting for my dinner to cook. I can't believe it's 10 o'clock and I haven't had dinner yet, but I did have a poke bowl earlier at like, I don't even know what time it was. I've had no concept of time today. I never have any concept of time, let's be real. Um, I'm also already done with this thing. Like, who designed a tripod like this? Like, how are you ever meant to get that to lie flat or straight? Please, if you have one of these, let me know what I'm doing wrong because no matter how I bend it, once you've moved these things, like there's literally no way of getting that straight again because they're always slightly out. Ran over about the tripod. I need to just buy one that's like normal and not like this. Um, I thought I would show you the books that I bought today while we are waiting. I say that like, you're really waiting for my dinner to cook too. Um, but I went to a bookshop today and bought books. So I, which one do I want to do first? Let's do this one first. This, I've actually never heard of this book. I just saw the front cover and thought I need it. Can you see that? Yeah, it's got ballet shoes. And I actually, whoa, where's my voice doing? <clears throat> I actually think that this is um, a photo that I drew in my like GCSE art days. Like, it looks really familiar. It might just be another random, like, point shoot picture, but it could be. I got this because it obviously is about ballet and ballet world. And, yeah, I am excited to read it. Then the other one I got, which I actually already started reading on the tube, is this one, which I'm already obsessed with. Like, I love it. Why is it focusing on my face and not the book? Here we go. There you go. Um, yeah love i've literally read this much of it <laughs> and i'm already obsessed um i will also leave my goodreads in the description because i've already read like six books this year which is like nearly one a week oh dinner's ready i'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna get my dinner out of the oven um but yeah love this already then this is so exciting i've always had on my pinterest board um that thing of like a blind date with a book and I finally did it I finally found somewhere that actually has them and literally like how Pinterest worthy is this so I picked up two um like it just has words on the front like who knows if you can guess what book this is it says Canadian philosophical blockbuster perceived reality and can I say this word that's a big word anthro anthropomorphism i don't think i read that very well um but this is the first one i picked up and then the second one says growing pains fate self-delusion and explosive they're the two i picked let me know in the comments if you want to take a stab in the dark at what books these are and i will come back and let you know if you're correct can't wait to start reading them i actually don't know how i haven't opened them yet like how have i waited that long to know what's inside um but yeah i'm gonna let you guess and then i'll come back and tell you what they are later and then the little ballet book and this book and then i also got myself this bookshop is on my way to work now one of the studios i started working at um more on the work updates later but i literally got myself well who do i think i am um a book loyalty card <laughs> And I already got three stamps on it because you get a stamp for every £10 you spent. Um, which I don't think 30 quid for four books is bad at all. Um, 
so yeah i'm excited to read those i'm also still on the colleen hoover hype i know it's controversial but i'm still on the hype okay it's a pure trash but they're so good like why are they so good yeah that's my book update i'm gonna go my, get my dinner out of the oven before i burn it here we go terrible angle it's kind of like a vegan cottage pie situation but also a little bit spicy. Whoa, it's hot. <laughs> Look at that steam. Um, also, this is my Zoom setup for my um, PT clients that I have online. Um, it's so cute. I literally am obsessed with these fairy lights that we bought. We bought them at Christmas, but they're not Christmas lights anymore. They're just there all the time. I'm going to eat this and then attempt to do some kind of wind down. Might do my yoga. I am doing yoga with Adrian, 30 days of yoga again this year. And no, I still haven't finished it. And yes, it is the 23rd of February and it's meant to be 30 days in January. But here we are. I've got makeup under my eye. I feel like I look weird without my glasses now put them back on um yeah so i think i'm gonna eat this finish some bits on my laptop because yes i still have my laptop out at 10 p.m um and then do my yoga and go to bed and then tomorrow i have work i've got i think three pts yeah three pt sessions um at 10 on the two of them are on reformer and one is gym based and then i have my gym based hip pilates circuit class um that's really a mouthful to say but it's basically two reformer stations two mat stations like mat pilates and then two weight stations so it's really fun um but yeah that is my plan for the next few hours i will try and remember to vlog over the weekend without telling me when am I not running late to be honest um, I'm also getting the ick with myself for vlogging in public I'm not even in this even camp is in public I'm outside <laughs> but I'm literally just down a side road like no one's really gonna see me oh there's a car coming that was funny um, but yeah I'm off to King's Cross to do my PT sessions and my gym class and probably won't film anything while I'm there but I think I am going to do my workout as well so maybe I'll film that who knows Apologies, I've literally filmed nothing on my camera since this morning. Also, how yellow does my hair look in this lighting on the camera? Also, my hair has literally got so long recently and I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> the last couple of times I have my hair cut because I go through this cycle of growing it really long and then I'll cut it to like here, which feels really short now. But my hair like a year ago was probably like that long wild anyway i don't even know what i was talking about but i just thought i'd update you <laughs> we got nando's because i was all ready to cook my gusto when i came in and then i realized because i missed pete karen hi karen um because i missed the cutoff for my gusto last week it picks the recipes for you and they're the same fucking recipe like, it's like, oh, here's some recipes you'd like based on what you've had before. 
it's the same fucking thing like i literally was ready to make it and i realized that it's basically the same as what i made last night the lentils and the potato except instead of sweet potato it's normal potato and it's like wilted greens instead of broccoli it's the same um so i was not feeling that and there's literally no other food in the flat other than bread and wasn't feeling cheese on toast vibe tonight so got myself a cheeky nando's if you will um nando's is extortionate these days what has happened but i'll talk you through my order i probably wouldn't have got this but i logged into my nando's account and had chilies <laughs> probably from about two years ago i don't know how they haven't expired but i had chilies on my account so i feel like i paid for more than I would have if I didn't have the chilies. So I've got a free starter basically. So we have is this the starter. What is that? Oh cute. Wait, is this the interesting okay I didn't expect it to come like this. I got the uh, hummus and pitta but the hummus is in this tiny little box and they give you a little bottle of the drizzle to put on top so this goes on the hummus um to dip put it in i think napkins will 100 percent be needed i need to go get a plate otherwise it's going to end up on the sofa which is not what we want we have pitta bread I don't know why I'm showing you this. It's literally pain, pain, plain pit bread. And then we have lemon and herb. Don't judge me. I normally get the like funky flavors, but there weren't any. So lemon and herb it is. Just because I feel like even with the medium, like I could ha probably handle the hot. But I feel like it doesn't taste of anything. It's then just hot in your mouth, <laughs> and it doesn't taste of anything other than spice. And I don't really like that. I'd prefer to have a flavor. Um, like I really like when they have like the mango and chili or whatever it is and the like smoky ones so i normally go for that but they didn't have any so lemon and herb halloumi and mushroom pitta oh, i fucked that up haven't i, I didn't even know ah, my god that nearly went everywhere um just realized i got a pitta for my main and got pitta for the starter if i had a brain it'd be dangerous and then at my side i got peri peri chips which i feel like are never actually that nice when you get them in the takeaway because they go a bit soggy but we've made that decision now so i'll do my grave and line it um yeah that's the vibe i've got a glass of wine um also trying to start my website that i started last night and we're gonna try and get some more of that done tonight and then I'm just waiting for like my website domain to transfer over because basically if you are an OG you'll know that I used to have a blog so I bought the domain laurenholly.com and best thing I ever did but it was like still with my old host and I wasn't paying for the blog anymore like I deactivated it and took it all down so I had to find a way to like get the domain back because I knew that I owned it but I didn't know how to reclaim it if that makes sense um very technical i don't really know how i've managed to get myself in this situation and be able to get myself out of it like i was flicking around doing like stuff on wix last night and i was like how do i even know how to do this like i'm switching around website domain and building my own website essentially um we move <laughs> but yeah i didn't film much earlier but i did film a couple of clips of my gym workout and me playing around in the classical pilates studio which was a lot of fun and i feel like now i have more time on saturday afternoons i don't teach all day anymore not that you would know that if you unless you know me personally um but i used to teach nine till five on a saturday and it was chaotic and exhausting and draining um but now i finish at two o'clock so i've been taking food with me still having lunch at work and then doing my workout and then it also gives me time to play around in the classical studio or on on the reformer um just to like teach myself some new things for clients do my own practice all that kind of thing which i did not have time for before so that is what i've been doing today um also i'm obsessed with this book it is so good um i've actually joined the waitlist to do this woman's course because 
I was hoping it was going to be like just available on her website to do but she has like actual enrollment so you can do it like real time um which I really want to do so bad but it's not till September so we'll hang in there um and the book will do for now but I am obsessed add it to your reading list right now good morning good morning um I'm not going to chat for long because I know it's so loud to put all the blowers on because do you think that I expected it to be one degree one degree it was 17 degrees last week why is the ice back why is it frosty why do I have to de-ice my car do you think I planned for this extra time? No, no I did not and I should literally be at work in two minutes and I still have to wait for my car to defrost itself. It's going well, it's going well. Studio number one of the day. turn the radio down i've been so bad at vlogging but i feel like i've got just enough to get away with this being a video of me trying to get back into it i hope um i actually have no idea what i filmed the last three days um i'm sorry if you can hear the heaters in the car let me turn that down as well um my water bottle leaked all over the footwell in the passenger seat of my car the other day and then i didn't go in my car for two days and it was also freezing and also raining so i couldn't leave the windows open and basically now it stinks of damp so i'm trying to like blast it out um it's not going very well but hey ho we move um yeah i literally have no concept of days anymore so i've just had my busiest day of the week on a sunday what is that about was it started off sunday was my day off then when I went freelance I picked up classes on a Sunday and it started off as just two classes on a Sunday morning and I was like I'll do it for now and see how it goes and then maybe I can like swap with someone or whatever. Anyway now it's three classes and it's about to become five or six and today I was covering anyway so I did three classes at Box and then did two classes at Reform Corps in Oxford Circus which was a little bit crazy and a bit hectic but we made it and it actually wasn't that bad at all um i was expecting it to be way worse so we're all good it just doesn't feel like sunday because i have had such a busy day um do not miss working in oxford circus at all i forgot how busy it was and how awful it is to walk down when you are on your way to work and everyone else is just there to go shopping and have a great time also i've been really bad at looking in the camera so i've been looking at myself it's also kind of i was gonna say it's really dark but i feel like it's been this dark since about three o'clock and it's now five o'clock and it doesn't seem to have got any darker when i came out of work i was like why is it dark but now i'm like actually why is it light it's nearly 5 30. anyways um may or may not film something later um nothing that interesting that made it sound like i had plans i don't <laughs> i'm gonna go in and facetime my dad cook gusto which is going to be the other lentil thing that i was going to have last night and decided i didn't want the same meal three times in a row so looking forward to that not really because it's literally the same things what i had the other day but i don't have any other food and i'm not ordering food again so that is what we're having for dinner gonna watch dancing on ice um plan for the week ahead sort my life out tidy the flat a little bit maybe do some washing and that'll be it um and then i will come back and end the vlog okay it is editing lauren here 
it's now the 16th of March and I've just sat down to edit this vlog and realised I did not, in fact, end it. Um, so I'm just popping on to end the vlog and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I filmed a lot more than I thought. Like, I did not think that this was going to be a 20 however long, 20, 20 however something minutes <laughs> long worth of footage. But hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed vlogging. I'm going to try and get back into it, or even though it's been like three weeks, four weeks since this one. Um, but I did really enjoy filming it. So I want to get back into it. And I actually didn't hate editing it, which is the bit that I was dreading, which is why I delayed it for like three slash four weeks. But I did enjoy it. So I'm going to get back into it. Mark my words. Harass me if you've watched this one. Ask me when the next one's coming. And yeah, I feel like I need to do like a big life update Q&A video. But we'll see. Maybe I'll pop that in an on Instagram and yeah if you liked it give us a little cheeky thumbs up subscribe if you're not already do all that good stuff leave me a cheeky little comment and I'll see you soon bye <laughs>